Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know y'all get sick of seeing chicken bags, but hear me out. These are oven fried. These were in the, not oven fried, Jesus, air fried chicken bags. I got some legs in the air fryer, so that's the noise you hear in the background. TJ in the bedroom. Y'all ignore him. And we got some yellow rice with corn, onions, and peppers in it. There's a video. Hopefully it comes out right. But anyway, hey now. Got some sweet tea on the side. And some BBQ sauce. I like this one. The sweet one. Spicy. Sweet baby rays. Not sponsored, by the way. Anyway, how y'all doing today? Y'all know I got on my paint. My paint. What month is it? Save the top time month. Breast cancer awareness. Yeah. Hashtag BCA. Yep. First of all, I want some of this. This is my, this is still good. The rice came out good. Look at that. Ooh, it's hot. Blow it. Need more seasoning. Mm -hmm. Need some salt. Put a little hot sauce on it. Oops. 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 Lord. Yeah. That went right in my nose, too. A little hot sauce on it. Y'all ignore TJ. He ate, okay? He's fine. Why are you glitching? a lot of hot sauce in one spot. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to eat a little bit. We're going to talk about this topic, okay? It's either going to be controversial or it's common. Y'all let me know in the comments because I'm I'm confusion right now. Okay. <clears throat> mm. Mhm. Mm this was seasoned with. Simply case of mom, simply spicy spice, um, garlic, lemon, pepper, herb. Mm. Mm -hmm. That air fryer hooked it up. Woo, honey. <clears throat> comments was asking about chicken back this is literally the top of the thigh you know how you get the leg cord and the little thigh meat that's all this is and they just cut the back just the backbone just the tail and this is dark meat all over here y'all hear that crunch mm. that's that crunchy skin but all this is is the thigh meat yeah that's all and a little back meat. If you ever cut up a whole chicken, that whole back part, that backbone, my grandmother. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you to the chickens that provided this. Mm -hmm. For the ancestors who taught me how to make this. Mm. Mm hmm.
my dog back there scraping up my dough, y'all. <laughs> he got an attitude. All right. Don't do this, huh? And fellas, I want y'all to chime in on this too. Because I'm really, really serious. I'm really curious about you. All right. So there's, here's the scenario. All right. I don't even know how to frame this. Oh my god. Mm. Alright, so. Mm, Alright, so you get invited to a friend of yours proposal, okay? We've been friends with this person for since y'all was in grade school. Like, y'all go way, 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 way back, right? Okay. You're a guy. So, say I'm a guy, and my friend girl, who I've known since I was a little kid, is getting engaged. She don't know it, but her boyfriend slash now fiance reaches out to everybody and says they are gonna propose well me as a guy asked the guy well what do you have planned because the people got to travel to where i gotta travel to where y'all going what you got planned like are we going to dinner are we gonna meet y'all somewhere in the park? Like, what's the plan? The dude tells you, I don't know. I don't really have nothing planned. So, being that you know that I know that as the guy, I know my friend girl, because you know, I've known her for a lot of years. I know she wants something special. So I take it upon myself. To help this dude out. I get in contact with all the people who's coming. Tell them to help me scope out a park. Go get some decorations. Go get some flowers. So everybody can hand her a rose. To congratulate her. Set the scene. Got drapery on the stairs. They find a beautiful, I find a beautiful park now, okay? I got the cityscape in the background. It's by the water, it's beautiful. Got, flower, got flowers on the ground, making a heart, what he gonna propose. Put up letters and everything, right? Play music. I got the music, okay? For this other dude to propose to my friend that I've known all of my life, okay? But as a guy, I'm planning your engagement scenario. Play the music. She come into the park with her friend, her now fiance. They come in, everybody's teary. And she's all excited because she sees all the stuff that I did. Which she don't know that yet. She don't know that yet. She finds out later. But. <laughs> Played a special music. Got my camera set up. Doing a whole video and everything. So you have memories of your engagement that I planned to another dude. <laughs> the only feelings I have for this girl is that oh, you've been friends forever. Like we best friends, whatever, whatever. But here's my question, fellas and ladies. How would you feel as the man if your fiance, your future fiance's 
guy best friend from childhood plans your whole engagement. The thing was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It was beautiful. I saw the video. It was very beautiful. Everything was nice. The music had me tearing up. Everything. Perfect music. Everything. But the problem I'm having is the fact that these this couple have been together for a little minute now. So he should know her likes and dislikes. They should have had some kind of discussion about if she wanted a grand gesture or if she just wanted a random I'm in the living room, you in the dining room, baby you want to get married situation. And first of all, let me just say that this girl is drop dead gorgeous. She deserves all of the stuff that her best friend put on, okay? All of it. She deserved all of that because baby she should not have been proposed to any other way. But my thing was, how come, folks, you ain't know to do all this stuff? You invited people to come from other cities and states. States. To come see you propose to her, and you ain't had nothing planned. Here's my here's my my take on this. And I was married for almost twenty three years. Okay. My thought process is, if you're not putting in this kind of effort into our engagement, like no effort, you ain't putting no effort into our engagement. What you getting ready to do in the marriage? I'm just saying. And I'm not saying you need to have grand gestures in your marriage all the time. But to me, it was lazy. And you're not going to sit up here and tell me that you're going to be doing any other thing in the marriage. Like, to me, that's lazy. You can't call my best friend every time we got an event to plan our event. What's next? He going to plan the wedding, too? Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Because to me, I'm like, <clears throat> the lack of effort is making me feel some type of way. My best friend got to come from another state, make phone calls from another state to help get my friends and family involved from another state. And still had the most beautiful proposal. I would have, if it was me, like, because it's just like, I would have been like, I might as well marry him. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. Maybe he's just not that dude and she used to that, but. For me personally, if my if my guy best friend did all of this for me, I'm looking at him at the corner of my eye now. Cause I'm like, yo. <laughs> hmm? In the um air fryer. At the end of the day, I think it's weird. So Q, here's the scenario. I'm just one of God's perspective, okay? You finna get engaged to your girl, right? Your girl got this guy best friend who they grew up together. They've known each other since grade school, like little, little kids, right? That person called, that guy calls you and says, okay, he invited all these people to come to the engagement. He was like, okay, so what do you have planned? He was like, I don't know where you got nothing planned. Like, where are you going to do the proposal? I don't know. But you got people coming from another state. This guy best friend says, okay, I'll take care of stuff. And plans out the whole engagement. The scenery, the flowers, 
balloons, music, the whole night, right? Set up the whole shebang bang. As a dude, how you feel about that? <laughs> If y'all heard him, he said, if he doing all that, he might want to marry him. Feeding the tatas. This time it's rice rich. And Jay Jordan. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you the video later. Anyway, we been shaded back in the back of the world. <laughs> so these are people we know. So I'm not using no name. But still as as a female That would make me if I was a man, I would be like looking at myself like Damn. Right, suck. <laughs> like, and low key, it might even become an argument too. Cause it's like, oh, you ain't even playing my junk. Yeah. Like, the dude picked really good music. I'm telling you, I was like in tears. The scenery was absolutely beautiful. Everybody was, there was not a dry eye in the house. Everybody gave flowers. It was absolutely a beautiful situation. And the guy videotaped the whole thing. So, at the end of the day, if I was the, the fiance, I would feel real crappy, to be honest with y'all. Because ain't no way. Ain't no way. You just showed me up. So, every other thing he do after this got to step way up. <laughs> My man did not. <laughs> now, see, if, it would have been different if he was like asking her girls, like, okay, take her to get her hair done, makeup, whatever, whatever, meet me at such and such a place. And having some kind of plan. But this is the thing though. It's it's different because it's the best friend like of, yeah. of years. And a man a man low key. Yeah. And then like you have the wedding planners and like engagement planners where they set up your scene, but you already have a place for them to go. Yeah. Like you didn't have a place, you didn't know where they was gonna go. Like that's insane. How you invite somebody and they don't got nowhere to go? They gonna be at the airport? Yeah, like they done flew in, drove in, came from other states, came from other cities, and you don't have no plan. Like, at least have a restaurant for us all to be at. Have something. A cookout. Something. You should have had something, bro. I'm sorry. I am sorry. That was sorry. Like, mm. that was sorry. <laughs> That's what you call sorry right now. You didn't put no effort into it. Her friend did. <laughs> Baby. I, do, I really... I just want to see what y'all think in the comments, for real. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. Yeah. Baby. I'm going to be side-eyeing my man. Like, are you serious? Because the person later found out who put everything together. He better have got paid, too. Mm -hmm. I don't care. He put a lot of effort. Friend or not. <laughs> Run my money. Run me my money, bro. I helped you. And he better be the Save best man for the girl. Whole... Save his whole career, bro. <laughs> and y'all been together too long for you not to know. What she when like. you said that in the video, I was like, and I was like, "Yo, wait, <laughs> we together how long?" And you don't know what. The worst if they live together. Oh my god. Uh -uh. I pray the best. I really I do. Wish, I don't. Yes, yes, I wish yes. them well. Don't get me wrong. I really do wish them well, and. 
I don't wish nothing ill on nobody. Period. I pray that their wedding is beautiful, their marriage is beautiful. And I pray that God is in the midst. Right. But, ladies and gentlemen, don't settle for just penny any stuff. Put the effort in. Please. Put in the effort. And like my the old people say, what you did to get them, do that same stuff to keep them, okay? That's a lesson from a person who was married for a lot of years, okay? I want a relationship where they still be flirting. Like, let's yeah. act like we still date. Like, don't, don't, anyways. Yeah. Flirt with me. Period. If I don't get butterflies around you, I don't want you. That oh my god, that's the best part. Move, cause I don't even like you at all, for real. Like, if y'all don't get butterflies from y'all mate, it's not wrong. Did you just say mate? Mate. Because it could be a wife, it could be a husband, it could Partner. be a son, whatever. Partner, <laughs> significant mate other. Mate is crazy. That's your bud. <laughs> They need to be. That's your bud, bro. That ain't even your. Uh, I married my best friend. He get on my nerves. He got on my nerves like a brother, but still. Yeah. We was friends. For real. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> and my proposal was at the airport. I told y'all this story before. <laughs> he about to break the door down. You too big. If I have claw marks and my dog on the door, I'm gonna be so mad. I'll come get y'all for a few, please. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, let's have a conversation in the, in the um, comments, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Cause I feel some type of way. <laughs> mm -mm. She's just gonna lose his voice one of these That's days. That's what I was thinking just now. Like, he about to lose his voice one of these days. He's so aggy, y'all. And I don't want to say let it happen fast, mm -mm. but like, <laughs> mm -mm. I'm getting sick of him. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so sick of her. Sick of me. This right good. Mm -mm. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm official J Mill. Hey y'all, welcome on in. That was a good meal. Whew. And to my ride or dies, my day was. Hey y'all. Hey Miss Gladys. Red. Carol. Hey girl. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I am stuck to my gills. I am about to film a whole nother video. <laughs> Two, actually. <laughs> Time to get this work in. All right, as I always say, oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the little bell notification. I don't never say that. I really don't. Ring your Ding, no way, no way. Oh, anyways, I love you, and ain't nothing you can do about it. I let me know what y'all think in the comments for real. Let's have a little conversation. Hi, right, bye.